Welcome to the Succulent Home Guys with me, Melissa. If you're new to my channel, thanks for clicking. If you're here and you clicked on this video, it's probably because you are a succulent and cacti enthusiast yourself. Here at my channel, you're gonna find pot with me videos with succulents, cacti, me discovering how to develop a better thumb at houseplants, and I love home decor. I love mish, mash, meh, meh, mixing both of my worlds together with succulents and home decor and sharing them with you. But first and foremost, I am a woman of faith. So I will be encouraging you in your faith in the Lord as you continue to enjoy the little things in life. So if this is a channel that speaks to you, please join me, please stay. Hit the subscribe and hit the uh, notification bell so you can get notified whenever I make a succulent arrangement or a home decor or a vlog, whatever video. I like to mix it up for you guys. Um, also, don't forget to like and comment and also share my videos with anybody who you think would be interested. It really helps my channel grow and it encourages me to continue to bust out content for you. So today's video, I'm going to do a cactus um, arrangement, um, maybe a cactus um, desert theme here in this pot that you see. Um, the good thing about cactus, they all like the same amount of water, so you don't have to worry about mixing um, succulents and cacti in this particular arrangement because um, sometimes you have to be careful like how much you're watering the succulent and the cactus and it's just sometimes it's a hot mess. So this time it's just going to be all cactus, you guys. Also, at least that's what I'm thinking. Who knows? I might switch it up on you guys and just add a whole bunch of other stuff. Anyways, keep watching, you guys, because this is going to be a pot with me video. And go get your stuff so you can pot with me. Go, 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 go get your stuff. <laughs> is go ahead and put my cactus soil inside this pot. This is a pot that I had from the last house, which had an arrangement that succulents just didn't make it through. They just didn't make it. It already had a screen to cover up the hole, which is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and mix some of this charcoal that I have left over. Just mix it up in here. It just adds an extra piece of like minerals and also it helps the soil from spoiling, from overwatering sometimes. And because this is a cactus arrangement, that would be a good thing to add to my cactus arrangement right here. It's not a need, you don't have to, but you can. Also, I'm gonna add some turfus on the inside. You don't have to do this either. You could wait until the top as your top dressing, but I'm going to just do a little mix all in here. This particular succulent cacti um, palm soil already has pumice in it. It has perlite. Um, it has little pieces of bark. It's a very um, perfect mix. It's by the brand Kellogg's. It's a perfect mix for your cactus arrangement. Okay, so I have this cactus barrel right here. That is, it's small, but it is a good enough size that I think that it's gonna continue to grow in here. Ouch, oi, be careful, be careful. The gloves that I'm using aren't that, um, 
oh shoot they're not that thick <laughs> so um try your best got a lot of roots got a lot of beautiful roots and I'm just gonna shake it I'm gonna let this sit a little high. Ouch. A little high right there. I'll add some more soil to the front. But right now I'm just working some of this soil behind this cactus barrel. These cactuses I love. I love the shape of them. I love the mix of the yellow and the green. Okay, that's a better view. You can see the top of it. Ouch. Okay. Be careful when you're working with this because uh, you will get poked. Just pushing some soil back there. working my way back there in the soil. I've had this um, barrel cactus for a while and I just didn't know if I was going to put it in in-ground tapestry or I was going to go ahead and continue to um, use it in an arrangement. So I just decided not to do anything until I knew exactly what I was gonna do. And I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna do a desert theme. Trying to see if I should add this one. feel like I want to cut I have this one right here that I can use I'm actually going to cut some of these some of these they're flying all over but some of these pokey some of their pricks they're going everywhere but I'm going to cut them so I can manage it better when I'm repotting it. This doesn't hurt the cactus to do that. It saves actually your fingers while you're doing it.
as you can see after I pulled it out that's a lot of roots so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut some of these roots off which is fine it's not gonna do anything wrong has a really good rooting system so that's good just go ahead and cut them off I'm gonna leave some I'm gonna cut the rest of these off right here again this does not hurt the cactus to do this okay so I think with this I'm gonna put this right here which would be considered more towards the back of my arrangement Let me see. Should I do it this way? See, because that one's growing that way. Could also position it like this way. Should I do that? I think I'll do it this way. I think that looks pretty okay. So I'm just going to make sure that the roots are covered. Just packing it in so this is perfect because I have this right here but I have the bigger one that's gonna grow out of this and then I have this one that will hopefully continue to grow like straight up not in and then what I'll do is I'm going to lift this a little bit more to that side yeah using this to put okay I'm just gonna add a little bit more soil on the top right here for now the smaller cactuses. Now, if you guys have ever seen Cactus Caffeine, her channel, she has an amazing cacti collection. She inspires me. And if you haven't seen it, go check her out because it is just a phenomenal, phenomenal collection. Now I'm going to blend this color and I'm actually, so this would be the front, okay? Right, left, and then I could put this little one right here. Or I have another little one that I can put here. Or I even have these ones. But I'm like, mm, nah. I would like if I did look at this sorry I could 
do this as an arrangement. Leave this in its pot. That might be cute. Let's see you guys, let's just be creative. Leave it in its pot, have it peeking out. That's kind of cute. It's still a baby. I like that. What do you guys think? I kind of have it tilted a little bit. Should it be straight up or should I have it tilted? I don't want it to grow tilted though. Yeah, let's just keep it straight up. Ouch. It actually was in this. Like if it was like this, could you imagine? Should we do it like that? Nah. Nah, because it hides the other one. I think it's just best if we do this. I think it's cute that way. So I guess this is just like another example of how, you know, you just go with the flow and allow your creativity to come through and allow yourself to be inspired with even some of the things that are around you, like the pots and stuff, you know, it's just, cause you just never know the direction that you can go. Yeah, that is so cute. So, 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 so cute. It's like perfect. And if I add something like this, it might get lost. You know, like if I add this, I feel like these three specimens right here make a bigger impact than if I would add this and overdo it. Remember, less is more. Less is more. So remember that. Um, now, what I'm gonna do to continue with this, you know what I have that might go good because they're on the shorter side? I have these. I could put them right here if I wanted to. Hmm. Let me see here. Let me see here. If I do do that, see? See, now these could go perfect right here. Oh, yes. Okay, what do you guys think? I think that looks perfect. Just gonna add a little bit of the soil that was that in the from the pot that it was in.
Yeah, I like that. Still going with the theme. Okay. So now we can move on to the top dressing, which you guys already know is going to be the turpus, just because it's the most reminiscent of like sand that is not going to hold in moisture. So this will be perfect. This has plenty of succulent, I mean cacti, just enough to make it look like it has the desert theme without overdoing it. Okay, remember, less is more when you're doing an arrangement. So don't be afraid to stop. And if some of the rocks get into certain crevices, we'll just go ahead and use the tweezers to move them out to do our best anyways. I love how that little terracotta pot looks like it's just floating. So pretty, so cute. I'm gonna use this little tool that has like a little triangle on the top to get more closer into the barrel cactus without poking myself. Yes, it's turning out beautiful. This is one of the reasons why I love not really going in here with too serious of a game plan because you just never know what's, where it can go when you just trust the process. You know, God created us to be creative beings. You know, he is creative by just who he is that's you know and so because we're created in his image he created us to be creative just like him so that's why if you give yourself room to be creative and not take yourself too serious especially when you're just beginning this is new to you hey i've been doing it for a while and let me just say i still just go with the flow because that's the fun part to me I'm just pushing some of this soil down because it's still pretty high on the cactus and that's why the rocks keep falling down like when I pour it.
Okay. That's the back. Okay. So all the way around, it looks great. I want to add something to this that I think would be decorative and cute. I don't know if I should add the seash seashells or or a or a big rock. When me and my little one always go to the beach, we always pick up rocks. So what I'm going to do is, because it is a desert theme, and I don't want to change this into an ocean themed, I think it's best if I use some of these decorative rocks that I have. They're small enough, yet big enough, to really make a statement in here. So you see this rock, it's pretty jagged, it's cut up in certain areas, just like this one, different colors. I got this green color one. Just lots of plenty of beautiful ones. So, let's see here. Maybe I'll do a variety. see how that looks. Maybe a smaller one right here. Or maybe like this. And then do another one right here. It's kind of cute. Looks just like if you were in, like, maybe even in Arizona. And there you go. Well, you guys, I hope this inspired you to try something new in your arrangements to do a cactus theme instead of just succulents. You know, cactus is our friend too. So let's not neglect our cactus out there. Maybe if you're just only into succulents, go check out Lowe's, go check out your local nurseries and see what kind of cacti you can use and make your own desert theme cacti arrangement at your very own house too. Well, until the next video, you guys, I hope this inspired you. God bless. Baby, I like you. like you. My baby, I die for you. Like see you. You know, you know, I see you. My baby, you know, you know, I ride with you. Uh. My baby, I don't cover that I die for you. Uh. I pray to the Lord. I rise to the Lord. Gonna greet the Lord. I pray to the Lord. For the mother, Jambele. Everything being safe again, ma. Everything for your jambele, oh jambele, oh, oh yeah. You are not a friend of me, no.